Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, two blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Just two. two queens, one blonde. Two queens, you better spark it up with two queens and a blonde. Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one Two queens, one blonde. Two queens, one blonde. You better spark it up with two queens and a blonde. All right. <clears throat> Are we ready? <laughs> I think we're ready. Are you ready? For the jelly? Ready? Oh. I don't think they're ready for this jelly. Zamora, can you handle it? Princess, can you handle it? Ebony, can you handle it? I, I don't, don't think, think they, they can, can handle, handle it. it. Woo! Oh. Ah! oh my God. <laughs> Happy 50th episode. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I got excited. Oh. And I thought that was the perfect time. No warning. I popped a confetti cannon. I'm excited. I'm so sorry if I popped your earbub, your eardrums. <laughs> but was that not like the perfect? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Wild. Oh my god. Yes, you guys. What's up? And welcome back to the podcast. I'm Zamora Love, Princess Booty Shorts, and Ebony like some more. And baby, we have officially made it to the 50th episode of Two Queens One Blonde. Two Queens One Blonde. Two Queens One Blonde. Hey, hey. One Blonde. One Blonde. One Blonde. One Blonde. Two. Two. Three. Two. Four. Blonde. <laughs> Divided by seven. <laughs> baby oh my gosh i cannot believe now th- let's call a spade a spade to- here this bitch goes already 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 with the pop with the ring pop um let's call a spade a spade we would have had a 50th episode a long time ago if we would have stayed on schedule i don't know what you're talking about but we did take that very long hiatus so we are officially just now getting to the 50th yes but oh, it feels so good to be here. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, should we dive straight into the wine first and then we can like talk about how we're doing and things like that? Well, we had a confetti, which made me think of champagne. So we better well get to the wine. Perfect. Now, I was going to do champagne, but I forgot until I was driving home with the wine in the car already. I said, damn it. I was supposed to get champagne, not wine. Hey. But I wanted the wine. I like the wine too. Well, hopefully, to like the wine. I like the wine. Okay, Ebony, we have actual wine today. Oh, now, here's the thing: yay. it's not an expensive bottle. I did get a cheap bottle of uh, white Zinfandel from Aldi. How much do you think the bottle was? Being that it was from Aldi, and it's just one bottle, or was it a six pack? Just the well, I got two, but it was just the one bottle. I don't know, three dollars. Ding ding ding! It was like three sixty. I see. Yes, I a love, me, I love me some Waldies. <coughs> I love Waldies. All these. Uh, yes. Um. Do you want to pour it up, or do you want to just pass your cup? Oh, I'll, I'll pass my cup. Because you know what time it is. What time? Wine tasting with Ebony. Come on in, pour us a drink. It's wine tasting with Ebony. What are we drinking this week? All these white Ziffendales. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is going to have a completely different taste. Not a completely malt different. Okay. Liquor. Because, baby, you've been in the malt world for a little too long, and it's time to get you out of it. Yeah. So, Ebony, smell it. What are you smelling? What notes? What fragrances? How are you feeling with it's it? It's making me think of weddings. Yes. Oh, okay. This is sort of the type of wine they do have at weddings. Okay. Yeah, I can see weddings. I normally yeah. think um, summertime realness whenever I think white Zinfandel. I'm also oh, thinking that's... sangria. Oh, I almost got sangria today. No shade, but I said no. We'll it, do that another that's day. That's its own kind of wine. No, oh. it's like a concoction. Right, sangria is its own thing. Like you can buy a bottle of sangria. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I thought it was something you had to make, like, you know. Oh, that's the good one. Yeah, Yeah, that's the good one. We always prefer the one you make, but you can always get one. I was like, because you can always customize the flavor to what you like. Yeah. um, Okay. Okay, are you ready to taste it? Yes. Yes. All right. Cheers. Um, Don't sip it. Don't, like, drink it. Just taste. It's me trying to taste it like I did just chug it earlier. That tasty. part. She was like, I don't know who said it, but I was like, people don't just chug wine. I was like, yes, they do. It was Actually, me. Well, baby, I'm in a wine chugging mood. What do you think, Ab? It 
taste expired. Oh, I think she don't know what wine tastes like. I see what she's doing there. She's trying to get a girl back. Well, if it's expired, we're going to definitely sue Aldi because we just bought this today. Today. It's What's still today? got the receipt. March 4th. Okay, it is. It is March 4th. And my sister sent this cheesy text message. It's so funny. I did not text her back. I got to respond. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Well, you know, I haven't really been active with my phone today. I'm not really in a talk to people communicative type mood, but I am excited because it's the 50th episode of the podcast. So I'm in a good mood for this, but she had sent a text message to the family group chat and it basically said something about um, today's date. Hold on, let me see if I can pull. Oh, yes, right here. She said, just letting everybody know that today is March 4th. So, March 4th, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which one sent that? Naomi. That's funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I just got it. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Well. I thought she just saying the date again. I'm like, oh, yeah. No. Oh, All right. Um... <laughs> What am I trying to do here? I'm trying We're to cheers. To, well, oh, now that we've, we've tried it, it's, how did you think? What did it say? The palette say to you? Oh, bitch. I, no stranger to White Zinfandel. This is one of my favorite wines. Now, the palette says summer, the spring. Um, no, they don't all taste the same, but White Zinfandels typically do favor each other because they're supposed to. It just depends on when they're made. However, I was trying to do a cheers while you was over here asking me 50 million questions. I was trying to do a cheers to the 50th episode. And I definitely clinked five times. Okay. (laughs) All right. Bring it in this way. Ready? Cheers. 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 That was on the microphone. Into 50 more to come. Our next celebration will be the big 100. We're almost at 100 uh, subscribers. Subscribers on YouTube. Yes, we are. We're we're less than a handful away. We are almost there. Thank you guys so much for uh, getting us as close as we have gotten. Uh, Please continue to support us. Share the podcast with your friends. Like if you're um, into this kind of content. Comment if we are talking about something you're into or if you have any suggestions or if you want to read us. Just know that we read back. And, you know, um, and if you share it and if and you're subscribe. scared you, and if you're scared you're going to miss an episode, don't forget to hit that little bell. Yes, hit the Ding. notification bell. It's so important. Um, but yes, cheers to another 50 episodes and another after that and another after that. I love you guys and I would not want to do this podcast with anyone but y'all. Love you. As we start having special guests. (laughs) Okay, every week. (laughs) Uh, Who's going to get replaced next season? Uh, Two queens, one blood. We have to lip sync for our life. (laughs) Ooh, girl. Hey, we all are in an outfit where we look like we are ready to do so. If I have to lip sync, I was ready. Okay. Okay. I was ready to do so. (laughs) Um... <laughs> now that we got the wine tasting out this of the way, this is very good. And Ebony, <laughs> see, I'm trying to tell you, wine is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful experience. You just can't be drinking that malt shit. Malt liquor, <laughs> you taste a difference, don't you? Well, I didn't have white. I had moscatos. That, that no, those were not moscatos. Those were malted moscatos. Because I'll get you an actual moscato next time. Okay. You yeah. can even get her the little arbor mist. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? We also need to get that orange honey one. That our first, um, our first message, commenter commenter from last week was Miss Hannah the Hermit again. Yes, Hannah. And she suggested a delicious wine that sounds like because I like honey and I like oranges. I did see that, and it did sound really good. So we have to either drive over to Indiana and snatch that up, or we can... Road trip episode? Would you guys want a road trip episode? Two queens and the road. (laughs) Plus the one other queen. Going for wine. (laughs) Two queens plus another (laughs) on the road. (laughs) (laughs) For wine and alcohol. Three queens for wine. Thank you, Hannah the Hermit. That would be our Tu Wong Fu movie. I'm probably going to redo the theme song, and it is still going to be Two Queens, One Blunt, but Not randomly that. I'm going to yell out, and a third. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're so ugly for that. <laughs> uh, no, I was talking about if you go to Indiana, you can sing your song. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have that video still? Somewhere in my phone. Okay, please, 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 please find that video and send that to me. 
actually if you could like look for it right now because if we could play that that would be perfect but if not the youtube people are going to get it i'm going to um clip over to it now uh but we were going on a road trip we had decided that we just wanted to get out of town for a weekend so we drove over to detroit or by detroit were we in detroit we were like we were in Detroit. Yeah. Okay. So we decided to take a lovely road trip. Uh huh. Go ahead, girl. That's why I got two bottles. Okay. Because I said she's going to like this one. And girl, with the week I've had, I need this one. <laughs> um, oh, she poured it up like it was a glass. She said, I'm drinking this. <laughs> Do you remember when it was? Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was, but we were crossing the border from illinois to indiana and i can't remember how it started but i was welcome what? to the crossroads of america indiana welcome, welcome to, to indiana, indiana. <laughs> hey, hey, indiana welcome to indiana because literally on the border thing it says welcome to the crossroads <laughs> of america so i made it a song when we started driving across it oh okay <laughs> you better be careful if you have to go put on a new album the okay mm-hmm. i wouldn't be mad about it you get a little country welcome to the crossroads of america uh, what did you find it i think i might have found it oh <laughs> my Wait, let's see yep that's it Okay, what? Why was that so good, though? <laughs> I'll send it to you right now. It's like I don't understand. Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know that was, was everything. Oh, I'm definitely gonna post that. Um, if you want to actually see it, it's nothing really to see. I was just sitting in the car in the passenger seat, but it will be on the YouTube. Um, what do I say this? But what yeah, is it? What this, is it on? This is very Snapchat. This is, but like, worst case scenario, just screen record it. I mean, I can send it to you via Snapchat. Sure, send it to me, and then I can save it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm pouring some more wine. Oh my goodness. What? I was just thinking about. You were? What? Wow. That's <laughs> surprising. <laughs> this is not a mirror, princess. You want, the, you want last week to come back? You were, I was so nice to you last Speaking week. Speaking of, I'm, I'm very now. proud of you guys. You did amazing holding it down without me. How did that feel? <laughs> I feel like your spirit was still here. I still heard your voice and guidance. Yeah. So it was good to suffer when Princess was coming for me. <laughs> okay, we can roll the entire episode back. And you came from my throat any chance you get. You called me a meth head. Oh, I did you, not. You definitely you did. You definitely did. <laughs> That's how I heard state. So you were an opportunity out there trying to get some, cutting some grass. You're trying to get some money. I would say you find the negative in the things, Princess. We got to work on that. Look, I'm going to start robbing you, okay? <laughs> That's what's about to happen. You run your mouth, I'm robbing you. Oh, my God. I know where you live. I know where you live. Well, that doesn't bother me. You you're bother you're me. in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, you're not threatening. Like, thank you, because anyway. I'm nice and loving, like Lizzo. Big well, I don't know if you want to be like Lizzo, girl, because apparently word of the street, she is suspect. Oh, well, that's so accurate. Yeah, she was right. She was being very accurate. Oh, you are right. Damn, Ebony, you are kind of a suspect. Oh, what are you talking about? Suspect. Just because, oh, you know what? It's because it's special. We do have we both have a special song. What's the special song? Well, Elizabeth has a song called Special. It's okay to feel special. Don't you feel special? Princess well, Special. What's your special song? Oh, that's your special song? Yeah. Princess Special. <laughs> I went that on a t-shirt. Honestly. <laughs> Princess special. <laughs> a fucked up crown on top. Yeah. See? Merch. See? Oh, there you went. She took my. a positive. There you go. Honestly, Goodness. first two Queens, one blood merch. Right there. Very that. Uh, we probably should actually discuss merch. Oh my and gosh, get some pretty like soon. Fun. Even if it's just merch for us. And then, like, if people start liking it, then we can, like, you know get some but i definitely think we should get like some hoodies that'd be cute or like you know some cute little a beanie a beanie <gasps> beanie wigs be- 
<laughs> we should get beanie wigs for wow. two queens one blunt. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Now, granted, we can make that. So we're gonna make that because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the beanies, and then, and then I'm just gonna sew the yeah, in. sew the tracks in. We don't need to tell them that we're doing the, the it's sweatshop okay. work. You can want look at this up on YouTube. Like, let's look. I'm a drag queen. I make a lot of my stuff. So yes, I most likely will be making my merch as well. At least the first demo version of it. Ebony can't take you sucking on that thing. She's she's holding it in. I am. I just don't <laughs> understand it. I mean Jesus. You know, if you could you would, but you can't, so um, You know what? We're not gonna get into that. You're not gonna suck me into that hole with your special conversation. I don't know if you want to say it like that, so I'm gonna say pause. <laughs> 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 and Whoops. I want to say rethink that because it sounded like you were going into the world of being swallowed up. Okay, and I don't know if you want to be swallowed. I do not. I will call that. HR. Like I will literally report you. Don't okay. make me get back into Pizza Hut just to talk to HR. Oh my gosh, oh not the hut. Okay, wait. So I do want to do something that we haven't done in a very long time oh my god what is it i'm so like i think it would be fun for us to play a little round of puff puff pass oh my gosh puff puff pass yes how you even play you just pull a card and talk yeah okay i remember like each card has like a set of what they could possibly be do you play board games ebony you don't have to lie. You can just say no. I play Monopoly <laughs> and stuff back in the day. But like, not now. Okay. Why do you? Oh. Yes. Like what? Um, villainous. Um, what? Dice Throne. Uh. Um, what's that fucking? Oh, you play those little indie games. I mean, I play like if you talk about a board in... game, I'm playing like where you have like pieces and you have a board not yeah. just throwing dice on a table and calling it a game I mean, it's, I mean besides boards, Yahtzee that's fun but there's also like boards like it's multi multi-faceted games not like if I'm gonna play a game I'm gonna play a video game which you can find me on Twitch she period go follow shit. her okay no, I'm just saying that's the games I play Um, do you think that maybe we should one day live stream the podcast on your Twitch while you're playing <gasps> that'd be and do a great. podcast episode that'd be fun I oh my god and then I can find out about this Twitch world and maybe you know we can jump in there we can that'd jump be in funny. With... there's a few queens out there first of all first of all first of all <laughs> Don't do me, do boo, your, your because first of all, first of all, <laughs> GTA is my thizang. Well, you got to hurry up because GT6 is going to be coming Oh, and out. I know. So I'm saying I can have it chopped up and ready to screw by the time it come out. So don't do, don't do me, boo, don't do me. Speaking of uh, games, as we get ready to play this game, right, okay, do you know, well, Miss Lady? <laughs> do you know if I can? <laughs> didn't make so bad. I tried to, I tried to blend the cards, but it's so small amount that they did not do it. Oh. Anyway, keep going. Did you guys know back in 2019, you know, when Twitter was still the bird and not the X thing it is now, mm. that Miss Lady Gaga didn't know what Fortnite was and she even spelt it wrong. She's like, what is Fort and I-G-H-T? And I'm like, Fortnite? And I'm like, I didn't even know what it was back then. And then lo and behold, five years later, she now has taken over the festival part of the music festival part of the Fortnite game. She's so real for that. I was like, that's like well, iconic. Five years later, all of a sudden, you're actually a character in the game now. Like two different things and your songs are like all over it. I are live. Are getting our own pile or is this just the pile? Oh, no, that's just the pile. I'm I didn't I didn't grab a lot. I just made an, a nice little, small little pile to play. We're not playing the full game. We're just trying. We're just reminiscing, giving them some old school. Ebony, did you even ever play this game? Yes, I have. How would I know that you answer questions that's on the card? Because you watched the podcast. And I played it. And I and then there was the other game with the music that you just tried to embarrass me on. Now that's the on. one that we. I was gonna say I remember playing that one, but I don't know if we. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep it in there. Keep that shit in there. Oh my goodness! All right, how do, who's gonna start? Me. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say let's have Princess start. Just pull a card. All right. Most likely two. Okay. 
get their baby second hand high. Princess. <laughs> is it like by is baby it, my like my dog or like a child? Either one. I feel it's like this is like family food. You gotta hit the buzzer. You're like princess mm-hmm. number one. Ding. I'm gonna also say princess. Damn. <laughs> Even though I do believe it would be me because I get Queenie high than a mug. I but... get Simba high, but that's a dog. Right. That's I'm like, different. I wouldn't do it to an actual baby. No. Not a baby. Y'all, well, y'all did it to me when I came over just to be like, hi. And I'm like, oh my God. And I so you're a baby. Down, then I float down a the baby. stairs. You're a baby. baby. I, I walk like one when I leave here. <laughs> Why <laughs> is there a baby on the podcast? Whose baby is this? I'm everybody's baby. <laughs> I can't take you. Can you pull a card, Ebony? Oh, it's my, I, well, I didn't know where that's the way we're going. Okay, let's see. This one is, would you rather, oh, Lord, vulgar right off the top. Okay. Would you rather fuck a cow and nobody finds out or not fuck a cow, but everybody thinks you have and you can't <laughs> convince them otherwise? <laughs> 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 That's so messy. Oh my gosh. Um, for uh, me personally, I. <laughs> what are you going through over there? That is so funny. Okay, go ahead. I would personally go with the not fucking the cow and having everyone think that I did, <laughs> even though I don't want that to be my life. I would much rather sleep better at night, at least knowing that I did not fuck the cow. I want you to know people will like see you on the street and they'll be like, that bitch fucked the cow. You cow, you, <laughs> fucker. You cow fucker. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> not the cow is dead. How did the cow become a haunted ghost company? <laughs> I thought the cow was trying to be sexy. My milkshake brings up the boys to the yard. <laughs> um, I don't think I would fuck the cow either. I mean, talk about me all you Uh-oh, would. the storm's starting back up. Oh. If the power goes out, at least everything that we're recording on right now is... Battery. Yeah, so but except the lights. Yeah, the lights will go out, so we might be in the dark, but we can mm-hmm. grab candles. <laughs> All of the lights. It's a thunderstorm. Okay. It was like cracking earlier. It was. Crack a lacking. Right, your turn. Um Would you rather have an orgasm every time you hear Old Town Road by Little Nas X or every time you have an orgasm Old Town Road? By little X plays. I huh? can do with the orgasm and letting Lil Nas X play. I don't listen to this song that much, and for me to have to listen to that every time I like to get an orgasm, fuck that. Right. But if I hear it after my orgasm, I'm like okay, period. That'd be like your 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 ending song. And I don't need that to be my ending song. That's unfortunate. So you're going to like orgasm like... I don't listen to the song. So yeah, I would orgasm whenever I heard it. And I'm okay with that. Little Nas so X is your, fine. your partner would know it's over. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm take my hotel room. I would start cracking up. Cracking up. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, they're done. There's a song right here. <laughs> Every time you finish, it just goes, Well, I'm going to take my horse down to a tower. Oh, go. Oh. <laughs> you guys it after you're at Oregon, so you just hear Billy Ray Cyrus. As well. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, blast the music, blast the music. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Wait oh, a minute. Oh, Wait, oh, we have we... to talk about <laughs> We have to get off of this. We have to talk about something important, though. What? Right now, we're playing a game. What the fuck? I, today we smoked um, cookies, bitch. Ooh. We haven't smoked cookies since we were in Colorado, but it was at the dispensary. And I said, what? And they had like three pre-rolls that were the cookies brand. They did not have Cheetah Piss, which is my all-time favorite. Mm -hmm. But we smoked powder sugar. Period. Yes. And then we did have the infused one that was also covered in Keef. And um, that was a rhyme. And Ooh. I believe that was a watermelon flavored indica. 
Okay. But it was like a 58% indica. That was wild. All I know is you said watermelon. Well, I also want to bring to the light that I still have all those other bottles. And Princess did mention doing a King's Cup with all the wines on the 50th episode. Uh, maybe we should do that 51. Oh. Or maybe we should do it at the end of this episode. Go ahead. Read your card. Oh, we're doing another one? Okay. Would you rather? <laughs> Ebony said, oh, I'm over this. <laughs> Fuck you, Ebony. <laughs> Would you rather have Morgan Freeman or Gordon Ramsay narrate your life? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Morgan Freeman down. No, I need him to call people idiot sandwiches. No, you? because if he's not on like a show like that, he's like very like but, calm and like uh, I love listening to him talk. I want him to talk while I'm in the kitchen and then he'll look at you and say, Princess, you making that crispy potato salad? What do I see? The idiot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony. <laughs> I could push her over. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> like, I've really been thinking about this for a while. And I feel like you have the right amount of leverage to do it. That would be inappropriate <laughs> workplace behavior. You and call I HR. would not be able to allow you <laughs> to continue with the podcast <laughs> if you physically attacked your coworker. I did attack on camera. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I feel the on camera part? Why can't it just be because, in general? Well, because because it's on camera, people would have saw it. I'm like, damn. You could but edit in general, it out. You know, well, you know, I wouldn't though. <laughs> this is Zeus TV, bitch. I'm trying to get with the drama. Speaking of Zeus TV, did y'all see uh, Natalie get muffed, <laughs> aka pimp slapped? Because she really punched that bitch. If we being honest. But uh, uh, Jocelyn Hernandez. <laughs> she needs no. to stop fighting Damn everybody. She made that little pink wig go flying back a little bit. And Natalie mm, didn't know what to do. She was girl. like, she was startled. I said, "Oh, Natalie, girl, you've been chin checked enough, girl." It's on chin Baddies versus Wild, or yeah, Baddies versus Wild. Ain't that the pole dancer one? I wanted to go see to it. the other one. It's right after that. Yeah, this one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's the fact that she agreed to it, though. Though she said, "Yeah,", yeah. <laughs> but Hold shut on. the fuck. One more time. Just one more time. She really thinks that hair is cute, don't she? Pimp slapped. Girl. For the wig alone, I would Girl, it's about time somebody got in Natalie's ass. Or mm. chin checked her. <laughs> That's hit, really what she if, did. If she you, chin checked her. If you hit her anywhere before the, below the eyes, it's chin for her. <laughs> I mean, Natalie can never really fight in anything. Girl, she got her ass whooped on the bad girls club. All the time. So, so it's like, like, I don't know why everybody is so all of a sudden scared of her. Like, she's this big bad. Because it's like, going up, again. it's like going up against an upside down unicorn with her chin coming at you. She's like, oh, <laughs> you get scared too. That's a weapon. I cannot with you. Whose turn is it to pull a card? She be blocking like a shield. Bink, 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 bink. <laughs> You heard it you here, folks. Oh bink, goodness. bink, bink, Wait, bink. Wait, I forgot to tell you guys we had these little balloons for you to play with. Oh, oh, you do have smaller ones. I'm looking at the big yeah. ones up there. Okay. Oh, you got to grab the circle. Mm-hmm. The, you right mean there. the O, oh, the zero. Mm-hmm. Grab the circle. Is that 50? Or is mine backwards? Or am no, I, right, it's right. either 50 or it says so. <laughs> this is the right way. Wait, let's do a... Uh, um, uh, Wait, um, is it right? Uh, um, oh, it is it right is, for it is. I just looked up. Let's do a... Um, watch my face. I'm going to sit that right there. Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> All right. Back to the game. Let's see. Would you rather be able to travel only to the past or future? 
In the words of an icon, I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Do you know who said that? A demo. <laughs> She's my favorite Disney character of all times. Minus Stitch. Stitch is one. Edna Mode is Stitch. Edna Mode is everything. See, I thought it was Maya Angelou. But <laughs> good thing I didn't know that one. <laughs> but no shade. That does sound like some shit Maya Angelou would say. You're so wild for that. You don't think Maya Angelou would say, I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. <laughs> <laughs> I think she would. I think she Comment did. below if you think <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely Ed Debo who said it. But comment below if you think that um My Angelo would say that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Um especially if you're not black. Please don't do this. We're Why? <laughs> Why is it gotta be black? Right. What what what's happening? My wrote poetry has no color. Right. Poetry has no color. It just has words and feelings and love and hurt and pain. Emotions. Mariah Carey. Uh, I sing like princess just then. Wasn't that amazing? Wait, can we talk about one of the shadiest reasons you ever gave that girl was when I can't remember what you were reading her about. Or you weren't reading her about something. You were comparing something. To, oh, you're bowling. You were saying <laughs> that. You said, well, I bowled like how princess dances. <laughs> no, you don't go much past. <laughs> we said, what the fuck does that mean? And she and never, never answered the question. Answered it. So let's so, circle back. Yeah, let's <laughs> we back do not the go to the past. We are moving beyond it. So going to that future. question. Yeah, no, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Coming for you, ho. What's good? You'll never have a moment of peace. <laughs> <laughs> That repeat hauntings. <laughs> You're like, oh, that be you. We're going to do that again. Girl, very that. Well, that was a good one. Is oh. it my turn or is it Yes, it's your turn. All right. You know, these little things keep falling and they touch my legs and I'm like, oh my God. Touch my body. Just so you know, this episode is going to be a little bit longer. It's not going to be super long, but because it is a celebratory and it's a 50th, we're not going to have a hard stop at an hour. Whatever we do, or we won't. Per. You didn't miss nothing. It was horrible. I hurt. It hurt my feelings watching that. What does your card say? <laughs> it says <gasps> most <gasps> likely to talk to the cops if they came right now. Ebony. <laughs> I feel very attacked in this. The door would not be open. It would be locked. The, the lights would be off. It would even be talking through the door. Hi. <laughs> I'm in here. <laughs> they won't let me out. I'm being held against my will. I told them to open the door, but they said no. What is this voice? I don't understand. Why well, I sound like a feeble old lady? Oh my god! It's just, it sounds Ebony, the exact that's how you same. Talking. <laughs> it's not. I heard myself. I do not sound like no. I heard myself. I do not. <laughs> Wait, can we all try to play each other? Okay. Everybody, try and do Ebony. So, Princess, give us your Ebony now. Wait, Ebony, you gotta say something first. You're special. <laughs> You're special. <laughs> My voice is not crack like that, but okay. I was gonna say that was still a little, uh, that was still a little princess coded. But that's because it's but special. It it's was, princess. It was pretty close to how you sound ebony it was said in the same cadence <laughs> um okay ebony give us your princess give us your princess. princess talk bonjour tabba 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 i like to dance <laughs> my name is princess dead on thank you <laughs> <coughs> Oh my god! <laughs> what's, your, what's your princess? I don't think we should continue this. <laughs> wow! Wow! Princess, how do you feel? I feel nothing. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, what's, she said you tried it. What's what is your what's your impression of princess? Um <laughs> It's more of like the quiet, chill, like um I mean, yeah. Okay, I got it, I got it. Like, we went like and then like yeah. Tap a tap a tap I, I like to dance. And I told them I did that. I told them I said I I Oh wait, what's the I, thing that she's been saying? <laughs> oh, this is what she's been saying lately. Oh my gosh, it's your butt. You tore. <laughs> you tore. <laughs> <laughs> You tire. Yeah. Yeah. Like you have like this like soft but not too soft. It's like you're talking quiet and it's like valley but Midwestern Valley, not West Coast Valley. I got it. It's like she's whispering from behind you. She's like <laughs> I like you. How are you? Talking you to just sounded bottle. like Nicole Breyer, bitch. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> What is going on? Okay. Wait, okay, wait. wait I want some more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give, it, give us mine. Yeah. Okay, stay great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's where Sasha's left to yell at. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's kind of like Fran Drescher v. Sasha. That's your laugh. <laughs> 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 Fuck both of y'all for that. But okay. I don't think I sound that. This is what you sound like. Hello. How may I help you? Phone you're sex operator. Tonight. You're here tonight to... Not a prayer service. We are gathered this <laughs> evening. <laughs> <laughs> prayer means late night sex hotline. <laughs> okay. Get you, off, right. get you off and get you lifted. Let's all do one more <laughs> card and then we're going to take a break because we're at 41 minutes. Oh my God. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take a break at 45 and then when we come back, we'll talk about some other fun stuff. We should have made this but, a 50 minute episode for episode 50. But it's too late for that. Now. Why would we have done that? Why would you cut back other people? Why would you be lazier on your. Ebony is Why? all about working less and getting more out of. I don't even know how to try to flip that for you, Ebony. Please explain. Well, it was more because of 50, 5050. Five, zero. But our normal episodes are like an hour, an hour, five. Okay, well, this one has been special. <laughs> it's so special. 50 minutes. That's a long time. Okay, so my card says most likely to. Oh, I already oh, did, did it. That. that was yeah. a jail. That was a yeah, the, talk to the police. All right. Most likely to buy feet pics for a friend. Sasha. Zora. I was like, you. <laughs> Wait, I'm not buying nobody's feet pics. Though. Well, I guess if it was a birthday, friend. if she wanted them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Ebony, what was yours? I don't know. I had to get it. Trivia. Who was the first person to pres- to be prescribed weed? Do you think we know that? Pull another card. Well, the answer is Chinese Emperor Shang Nong in 2727 BC. Can before you we not cared. reach that way? My how am, is I, right there. how am I supposed <laughs> to reach the card if you're right there it's over it? It's not my fault. You have fucking T-Rex looking arms. It's <laughs> not my fault. Okay. <laughs> it's the pilot in front of you underneath the sucker. What am I supposed to reach for to get ladies, the card? Ladies, ladies. Just suck on your pacifier, baby. <laughs> Debate honestly is the best policy. Agree or disagree? Wait, what? what? Honesty is the best policy. Agree or disagree? Agree. Depends on the situation. I'm going to say disagree. Why? I think open communication is the best policy but i don't necessarily think honesty is the best policy because when you're being honest about things let's say honesty is the best policy that means even little white lies like that means you just tell the truth about everything like girl shut the fuck up you ain't got to tell them everything like girl damn you ain't heard of just saying yeah girl you look good 
I hate when people play into delusion, so I would probably be pissed by that. So I guess I'm contradicting myself. But I do think... Contradicting? I'm doing something. T. I do think that you should be telling the truth. I do think, though, that it's not a big deal if you're telling a small white lie that is saving someone's feelings in like a moment of like you know life or death instance like if somebody's dying you don't have to be like blank with them and be like you're dying <laughs> like <laughs> you're like no it's going to be okay like that's okay to do that's a little white lie even though you it's very clear this person is dying like you know so there's you're, a time and place you'd be like the candle's dimming <laughs> But I don't think that you should be lying to people. I do think that you should be open and honest. And that's why I think that open communication. Sky got an attitude. It's okay. Sky daddy man. Um, what about you guys? I feel it's the best policy. Because it's so much easier. Sometimes when you get into little white lies and they'll be like, remember when you said that? And you'd be like, wait, what did I say? And then you forget. And oh, I'll go back real quick. If somebody would be like, like, let's just say that I said, oh, I like this outfit. And then Princess pulls it back out. And then I try to read the outfit. The next time she pulls it out, she's like, well, the last time that I wore it, you said you liked it. I have no problem being like, oh, that was a lie. I don't like it. See, or I can say, well, it fit different last time. Now I see it in a good light. And we're not reading your outfit. You you were just the example because you were right there. I was reading the outfit, and it's cute. (laughs) We're going to take a quick break. Why are you confused by the <laughs> Sky got an attitude. Sky I kind of want to get a little bit higher. And when we come back, we have some videos that we're going to react to. Yeah. We have uh, some uh, lowered expectations. And we could talk about RuPaul Drag Race. Maybe just a little tad. Just because, you know, I didn't really pay attention this much this week. I did. Oh, well. Good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like a cookie? I actually I, have some. I had a gig in Wisconsin with Gina Bell at uh, Lawrence University. On wait, the what was cookies? her name? Gina, Gina Bell. Bell. That's my girl. It makes me want some Taco Bell. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, so you're gonna, interested in Gina? We're going to go on our Sexually? Mouth. I didn't even put that together that she's talking about a taco. <gasps> oh my god! I mean, you might be putting something together that she might not even have known was there to put together. Well, now she knows. The fat kid said Taco Bell. She's definitely going to be on this ep- or not this episode, this podcast though. I was talking to her about that when we drove up to Wisconsin. She was like, "Oh, I would love to." That'd be fun. Yeah, she's a fucking key. Um, but yeah, when we come back, we got quite a few things to get into. But right now, we're going to take a quick break. See you in the view. We're back. Yay. Yes. Hi. We are back. I have refilled my <coughs> Zinfandel just for me to chug it right now. Like the bottle isn't right there. Baby, it's a celebratory party. Celebratory. Grab the bottle. All right. So, y'all, I got some videos. Ooh. From mm. where? TikTok, Instagram, TikTok. YouTube, TikTok. All right, so the first one, it's a child that eats better than any of us do on a regular basis. I don't know. I okay. know how Does eat. anybody else want some before I... Mm, yes. I, I figured. Go ahead. Oh, wow. I'm a talented whore. Why do you... It's, it's, it's not going to fall on your face. I was going to put it right here. Ah. Did you everyone see? Yes. Yes. I forgot we got to look at it. Did he say what? Sam, Sam and Wellington. Wait, I was going to say, is he cooking it? The father's cooking it. Okay. okay if you song. guys want to watch this video, you can uh, log into the YouTube that, and watch. Is a or a mushroom? Oh, mushroom. A mushroom. I'm at the Along table. with us. Is that spinach? Mm. Honestly. Uh, is that, oh, Sam, I, I was going to say, is that a green bean casserole? It's <laughs> not a green bean casserole. Wait, what's happening? A salmon Wellington. No shade is given caucasity. 
Oh, Wellington. Yeah, like a beef Wellington. That's a very Caucasian male. It's just expensive. keep watching. I've, I've Ooh, actually why? never had a beef Wellington. Neither have I. I would try a salmon one. Do you though. want to know why you haven't? Because I'm black. She's <laughs> called me a hardy yard, y'all. <laughs> I mean, not to say that we wouldn't try it, but it's just not something that we, like, made or had in our... Look how good that looks. It does look very beautifully plated. It's because he don't know any better. He's just going to say it's good because you'll probably make him eat more of it if you don't. That is so cute. But that is pretty. Too pretty for a baby to eat. You're a hater. I was going to say, Ebony, why are you hating on a baby eating the good? I'm I'm not hating on it eating good, but I'm like, that's a lot of preparation for a baby that's most likely going to just smash it in their face or knock it on the floor. You clearly saw he was using a knife and fork like a civilized person. Right. Not every child is like me as a child. So I I talked about You weren't like him. Clearly not. I was. Not eating Sam Wellington. You were eating chicken fingers and I eating was, the same five oh things. Oh, no. I had chicken breasts. We didn't do the fingers and nuggets until I was older and I can get it for myself. My Period. mom tried to get me healthy. Period. And then I learned how to eat junk food and I got fat. Period. And now she's on the process of getting skinnier. Period. I'm losing my fluff. I'm getting <laughs> fluffed. All right. The second one. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was. Excuse me? <laughs> I, I, yeah. Whoa. What that, just happened? That came in hard and aggressive. What did Obama do? I feel like I missed it. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the actual video. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did I find the say the N word? No, Ebony. Send me both of the. Well, you know, send me everything. Yeah. Wait, because she said he said he could say the N word because he's mixed. So did. It... Well, he can. I saw. I saw uh, Viola Davis say it as as a. You're you're gonna watch this episode and then you're gonna understand it because you won't be I. Is that a, oh was that a show? No, Ebony. I thought that was a stand-up comic or a poetry reader. Poetry. But it wasn't a show. It was, like, some mixed girl. But, like, clearly, like, yeah. Anyways. Um, <laughs> I'm so confused. Do you have another? We know, Ebony. You're I always confused. Really. And I, it's okay. It wouldn't be the 50th episode if you, you weren't confused. confused. <laughs> you get yeah. one of those. So right. <laughs> I'm just saying. So for this last video, it's a participation one. Ready? You're gonna hold on. She explains it. I did one of these, and I did not say the same thing. Joel Coy. Kevin Hart. I don't have to pause it. Okay. Don't know who that is. Mm. Um, Brett Favre? Ocho, I was just going to say Ocho Brett Cinco. Favre. Ocho Cinco. Cool. Gatorade. Iced tea. Water. Timberlands. Puma. Okay, because I was going to say way too soon. <laughs> Converse. My brand is Vans. And finally, oh, that was close to mine. Chihuahua. Um, I'm going to say a Labradoodle. The breed that I selected was German Shepherd. We did it. 
Yay. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, that wasn't too hard. Mm-hmm. You know, just some slight work. <laughs> we did that, though. <laughs> were most people saying what he was saying? A lot of people were, which is wild. Really? I, sometimes I'll do the Disney ones, mm-hmm. and then it'll be like, oh, I'm doing well. And they say one, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> it's a Sunday. That's not very Disney. And I go like, I have to like their video after that. I'm like, well, you got mm-hmm. me. Oh, <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we were able to witness those videos. Um, like I said, if you want to watch them, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always watch along with us. Next time, find someone a little bit more attractive to my eyes. Wow, so you caught that man ugly? I did not. I just said more attractive. So on a scale from one to ten, where he what? Where was he for you? Like a five. What man are you talking about? The guy yeah, that we were just interacting I had the video with. Trying to think like I couldn't think like him because. <sighs> Ebony, what video did I just? I don't know where you are right now. I'm in your living room. No, you're and not. that's the problem because oh. you're not. We're not in the living room. Are we not living in here? Thank you. I win. And you said I couldn't push over. Why? Push her down. <laughs> <laughs> the audacity! Okay. I'm a little. Everybody gets to episode fifty and starts showing her ass and shit. Uh, it's technically episode forty nine that she started for real. <laughs> last week she was un one. I thought it was because she was tired and hungry, but clearly not. <laughs> she was just on some fuck shit. You know. She's not the only Virgo that I've encountered this week that was on some fuck shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna let do it. not categorize me with that. I'm gonna one. let it be great. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you live. I told you I'll get that one for you. <laughs> okay, so I have a Reddit uh, pulled up in front of me right now. Okay, uh, this was posted a day ago, and this is on today. I fucked up. Today I fucked up. But I think. her (laughs) today i fucked up by thinking that my friend was a trans woman for months damn i probably should have read this ahead of time because this is if this is a little too crazy i'm not going to want this on the podcast because i just realized this could go one of two ways (laughs) and i I didn't even think about the other way when i picked it (laughs) but okay um this is a funny oh okay perfect perfect there we go this is a funny story and some friends said that i should post it here a little backstory. I moved to a different state two years ago for work and didn't know anyone. Over time, I met a group of people who I hung out with on a weekly basis. This was a pretty well established group and I was fortunate and I fortunately was accepted into their ranks. Some of these people have known each other since they were in high school, so they all know each other very well. Despite this, I have never felt excluded or left out and really do love these guys. There are a few people in this group that are part of the LGBTQ plus in some way. One of these people being Jane, fake name. I want to make it clear that I support the LGBT community. I couldn't care less what people identify as. And even though I am not a part of it, I respect everyone's identity. Pause. Okay, because I was going to say, hey, I have a problem, but I couldn't care less. That sounds like he's about to say something offensive. Like, I don't mean, not to offend anyone, but. My, I got black friends. I think technically you saying could not care less means. He was that could. Your toe on my toe? No, my, I'm in my crack. Oh, that was your crack on me. Okay. Trying to crush my toes. Okay. Um, Carry on. Jane is someone who is very secure in their identity and has no problem openly talking about her sexuality. (laughs) (laughs) What was that? Sorry. I've been drinking a little bit. I've been drinking a little bit. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I've had a stressful week. I think I'm allowed to indulge in some white I mean, You really can't say shit because you'd be tearing it up on here, too. <laughs> and at least I was nice enough to turn it away from the mic. 
<laughs> yeah, you're disrespectful with it. You just give it straight to the mic. <laughs> it was one time. Instant playback. ASMR. One time. <laughs> More than once. Twice in an episode, actually. Actually, for real, though. That was just on a repeat. You guys play with the editing. I blame it on the editing. Sure. Anyway, one day, while we were all out at a bar, Jane and some of our other friends were talking about their dating history and preferences. Jane brought up how she had been with both men and women and doesn't care about the gender of her partners. That's when a different friend who is also LGBT intervened and said something like exactly what I expect a trans woman to say. Not that. Jane didn't deny the trans comment, just gave a little wink and continued with the conversation. Because I was still fairly new to the group at this time, I took this as a comment. I'm sorry. I took this comment at face value and just thought, I guess Jan's trans. I guess Jan's trans. That's a TV show right there. Okay. And moved on. I didn't want to pry considering I wasn't that close to Jane. Is it Jan or Jane? J-A-N-E? Jane. 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 Yeah. It kind of remained just a thought in the back of my mind and nothing really serious. As months went by, Jane never mentioned their trans identity again, and no one in the group ever said anything about it. So I assumed it was just something Jane doesn't like to bring up. By this point, I had been friends with this group for a little over a year now and was significantly closer with everyone, including Jane. Jane's in the process of moving out of her current apartment into a much nicer one. Way to go, Jane. Literally, they said that in parentheses. Wow. And yesterday, I was helping her move some stuff because I own a truck and I was more than happy to help her while bringing things into her new apartment. I noticed what seemed like an old photo from Jane's childhood. There was an older man and woman who I assumed were her parents. A young girl and a young boy. I turned to Jane and said, I didn't know that you had a sister. With all the confidence and curiosity in the world. That's when Jane made a face and said, I don't. And walked over to where I was, where she saw the photo and looked at it. She pointed at the little kids in the photo and said, that's me with my brother. I must have looked like a lost child or something because when she looked back at me, she asked what was wrong. And I said, so you're the girl here? Yeah. And that boy is your brother? (laughs) Yeah. By this point, I was really confused because Jane couldn't have been older than five in this photo, but still looked like a little girl. So I finally asked, sorry if this is too personal, but... What age did you transition? (laughs) That's when Jane now wore a confused look on her face and said, what are you talking about? (laughs) At this point, I was genuinely curious, still not understanding what was really happening. So I said, what do you mean? What am I talking about? I know it's none of my business, but you just took, I'm sorry, you just look super young here. How old were you when you transitioned? Then Jane just smiled and said, That's the most interesting name I think I've ever seen. A U N L I R O? Anulirio? It's right here. Sure. Anero, do you think that I'm trans? I answered with a very unconfident yes. <laughs> then Jane asked why I thought that. Then I told her about the story about a comment her friend made at the bar. It had been months since this specific hangout and how she didn't deny it and how no one ever brought it up again. So I didn't want to at this point. Jane was on the ground dying of laughter, and I felt so embarrassed. Luckily, 
She didn't take offense and thought that it was hilarious. Even immediately called one of our friends uh, and Ebony back up. <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> immediately calling one of our friends and letting them know I thought Jane was trans for the majority of our friendship. So, more of the story. Gender is a spectrum and don't take gender jokes at face value. And if you're ever confused about someone's gender, just ask. It'll save you a lot of embarrassment. Trans rights. Trans rights, always. That's wild. That's so wild. That was a long one. I Very damn. Long. I, I I need another glass. Damn. Um, that was like interesting. You said that with your whole chest. You said, "When did you become a?" Well, I have to be honest. I've been in that situation numerous times. A lot of people think that I'm trans, and I have to tell them I'm not. I used to get all the time because I well, was- Ebony, you definitely look like somebody's auntie, and that's no shade. Me and Sasha say that all the time. You like you literally are a very believable trans woman, just in fat- and out of the face. I'm just a fat kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little different now though because you did change your hair now, but yeah. back in the day when you used oh. to have longer hair, yeah, it definitely gave. Is that a trans person? Like I was, and I, I will be honest with you. I also did think you were trans. So did my drag mom when she met me. She said, "Hey," she's like, "Aren't you?" They're like, "What were?" And then the question was that really stunned me was, "Which way was I going?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if I was they going, figure it out. If I was going yeah. FTF or FTM, they couldn't figure out. Like I was right wow. in the middle. I'm like, oh. So you are truly <laughs> androgynous T. Okay, I was gonna say androgynous, like, a non-binary. You just flow through it all. Yep, I love that though. Um, I'm yeah. glad that this was a good, funny story and not something that could have went the other way. Yeah, I didn't want to have to roast him to pieces. Halfway through, I wanted to take off my wig. Bitch, I do too because I am so hot, and I know it's because I've been throwing this wine back. Uh, it's just like I don't want to feel it wrapped around my head anymore. I'll turn it around. It's the 50th episode. Should we go wigless? I'm gonna no. turn my, I'm gonna turn my wig ups around like backwards. Okay, let's put our put, uh, come on, Effie. Put your wig on backwards. It's Dream Girls. <laughs> put your wig on backwards, Ebony. Let's see. Well, no, you don't have to. Your yours is cute. Oh, oh, okay. (laughs) That actually really worked, (laughs) bitch. I'm so innovative. I don't think mine looks good. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, this bitch loves these fake assholes. Just trying to set me up. (laughs) Delusions. (laughs) Brought to you by Princess Booty Shorts. You're gonna be like, well, let me oh, you up. <laughs> I'm cousin it, bitch. <laughs> At the start of the episode, they had the hair all right. At the end. Well, she done got lit. Look, I've realized one thing about life. You okay. My name is Bellum. And good. I've realized one thing about life. I'm gonna laugh and I'm gonna enjoy life. My because let hurts. me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Life is 15% of what happens to you and 85% of how you handle it. So I'm going to have fun. And I'm going to walk around with my wig backwards like this. And people are going to think I'm standing up in the other way. I need a straw for my wine though <laughs> because I'm a certain oh actually the microphone is doing its thing alright this is so funny hold on let me cause I can't see nothing Una America <laughs> I'm still giving dynasty did you put yours up <laughs> oh, I love yeah. it 
I'm still giving. Put your headphones on. I, don't I feel like I feel like I feel oh. like cotton candy. Hold on. Ooh, bow. Yes. It looks better with the Jeez, headphones. Learn to eat a little. Not Wait, the right side. you do look like cotton candy, bitch. <laughs> it's very much giving like Welcome to the Sixties. Well, uh, okay, wait. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, I'm here for it. <laughs> Come up for the wigs upside down moment, and that. That's drag, right there. It's drag, baby. Shout out to the Dream Girls. We just turned oh, not the party. With the ta- not with the damn. <laughs> <laughs> the tag? No, the oh, the, hook the clip. Thing. Oh, that's funny. The hook, yeah. All right. All right. So we went through some Reddits. We saw some um, videos and reacted to those. Um, <laughs> what do we want to do with our wigs on backwards? Let's go do some. Let's find some lowered expectations. Lowered expectations. Lowered expectations. Let's do Baltimore. Baltimore, okay. Good Balt. morning, Baltimore. Doom, 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 doom. Wait, which Baltimore though? There's several. Washington, Baltimore. Why? Because Raven Samore plays is performing out there. Oh, happy birthday, belated birthday, Mama. Um, I don't see Washington right here for some reason. Maybe it's Maine. Oh, there we go. MD. It's Maryland. Do I want noodles or chips after this? Girl, you want ramen everything. Drive. So it's noodles and chips. She's not wrong. All Thank right. you. Uh, d- yeah, you're not. Virgo's always right. No, fuck a Virgo. Okay. Sure, we're great. Girl. <laughs> Beyonce even sings about it. Anyway, Baltimore. I have several Ooh. Baltimore ones. Wait, now are they? Are, I always wondered: Are they under category of like male for female, male for male? Or well, just it's general? under an actual category called missed connections. Okay. And because they got rid of the sex, yeah. So people sometimes put them on missed connections, but co- missed connections are always supposed to be. Like how they are when we're like, oh, I ran into somebody and I should have talked to them or I lost contact with them or something like that. Um, But half of these people are using it as looking for, but that's not what this is anymore. Like they got rid of that part of Craigslist. So don't bring it over here. (laughs) Um, This one in Baltimore is in Park Parkville. Lost connection. Trying to reconnect with the married guy I used to visit. <laughs> Never saved your contact info. Wow. You'd always reach out by saying, you hungry? Doo-doo. What Hope does this sound like me? Together a kid soon. It sounds like me. Correct. <laughs> I love how every good time when we listen to these, I'm like, yeah, this sounds like something I would say. Girl. So when I say you cut grass, you got mad. So then maybe we should uh, pull up some here to see if maybe you do have a missed connection out there in the world. Bitch with no eyebrows. (laughs) Bitch with no eyebrows. If you have a missed connection with Princess Booty Shorts, please go on Craigslist and make a post. Call it you who walks the boat naked even though you're pigeon toed. That's for Ebony. (laughs) <laughs> I'm pigeon toed. You know. How do you go? Oh, I guess you pay attention, I do, yeah. Plus, my knees touch. Oh. <laughs> Some of y'all's don't. My, no, they don't. Are they supposed to? <laughs> Yours be clacking. My like heels like Wait, a stripper. Are knees supposed to touch? Yes. You keep what? your legs together. That's why they say keep your knees together. You should be able to keep a pin in between. Bitch, I got a lot of thigh. Hold on. Right. I'm like, I'm finna uh, stand up. Because you, you're talking about when you're standing, yeah? Yeah. If you if they go out like a bow, you're bow-legged. Oh, no, they touch. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Do they touch? Yeah, they touch. I feel them touching. <laughs> you see them touching? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks so funny because it looks like a mullet. It's a front. 
Oh, is she stuck? Okay. You know, I might Sorry. sample this. I'm very lit, and I didn't realize how lit I was until I stood up. And then when I saw Ebony over here with the fucking car candy mullet on it, <laughs> it sent me. And I wasn't ready. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, my okay. goodness. Sorry, I guess I'm going to have to put in the caption. Zamora also gets drunk in this episode. <laughs> but she deserves it. I do. Um, oh, I just had it pulled up. I don't know why I closed out of it. Okay, we have another one. Uh, this one is in Mount Vernon. Ooh. Baltimore, oh. though. Baltimore. Oh, okay. Not out here. I didn't switch out of Baltimore. Did you want me to to see if we could find anything for you, for real? No, you can keep going. We'll okay. do that another episode. She's, Perfect. she's a national, so Shut she's everywhere. You know, she does travel. Yes. She ain't afraid to get flued out. Mm-hmm. Flew, train, the bus. Hands on her knees. Hands on her knees. <sighs> <laughs> you are a cashier somewhere, and we always smile and blush at each other. <laughs> Just can't stop thinking about how much blushing we did. You, the cutest cashier somewhere in Mount Vernon that I, I won't post. Hope you see this. I am. Wait, what do you mean that you won't post? Do you have pictures or something? No, they won't say which, where they're the cashier at. So oh. if you're a cashier in Mount Vernon and you blush. I don't blush. Some That's serious funny. blushing, okay? Like... Grade A blush. What if she just puts a lot of blush on and you think she's blushing at you? Well, probably not the case. I this I think this is the best <laughs> one. This one says, saw you on campus. Saw you on campus. <laughs> you know what they did? You know what they did? <laughs> they tore. They tore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Last one. Parking garage near the gallery. Oh, that's Princess. BF, gray dress, exiting your car around 8.45 a.m. Me, W.M., white male, navy, chinos, and buttoned down. I was walking by and noticed you dropped your glove, so I picked it up for you. We small talked for a bit. Made some jokes about the weather. Thought you were interesting. Let's reconnect. Well, I mean, I guess I can respond to this one because, you know, he sort of sounds sort of like, but like, what'd you smell like? He definitely smelled. (laughs) Sounds like he's as hung as your ring pop. He smelled like synthetic. Yep. Hung is your living pop. Get the fuck in. <laughs> Ebony don't even understand what just happened right now. <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic, you know I love you, girl. Um. Well, that's been our Lord. Expectation. <laughs> our, our Lord. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> With our wig on backwards. We started out so fresh and so clean, clean, and now we're just a drunken mess. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta have fun and laugh to keep from crying. Girls <laughs> just wanna have fun. Thanks for. And they your- meant that shit. And that's some real shit. Let us know what you thought of your, what was your favorite part of our episode? What was you guys' favorite part of our podcast so far in life? Out of all the 50 episodes, what would be your favorite? And honestly, even before the 50 episodes, like... No, (laughs) bitch. I was talking to y'all, not the the listeners. Oh, I I didn't know. For once, I was on the same bus as Princess. (laughs) 
<laughs> Those windows were clean, baby. Those windows were clean. <laughs> <laughs> what would be you guys' favorite episode? I would have to say the Sasha episode. The Sasha episode was a good one. Because <laughs> I could listen to her stories all day, and she also likes to say the P word that ends with Y, and I feel like pussy. 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 It's how she says it. It's not what word. It's what just you how pussy? she says You wouldn't even say the word, ho. Say it with your chest. Say it with your chest, Ebony. Say, say it. it. Pussy. Princess. Say pussy. Princess. Say pussy. She'll be mad if I pinched her. She'll be so mad if I pinched <gasps> no! her. No! I'm going to give you a mom pinch. Pussy! <laughs> <laughs> no, don't pinch me. I can bruise easily. I'm diabetic. I was like, I would give you a mom pinch right under the arm. No one's going to see that shit. No one's going to yeah, see that Yeah, they will shit. because I, y'all said I tell the police. I'm like, look, you hurt me. I don't know. Don't be a snitch. I'm not a snitch. I'm just saying, I didn't say who hurt me. I just said um, they. Do you just have a question for us or the people? For the room. I would like for y'all to answer it too. What's the definition or what does no shade mean? No shade means you're about to say something most likely shady, but you're not trying to be as shady as it may come out to be in that moment. Oh, okay. That's Princess? how I feel. Or you, Or, you know, like when they say no teeth. No. It's to give you a pre expose of the shade that's going to be thrown. Like it's like pre warning, like no shade, but you could have did this better. It's a it it, it de shades it because you're already saying, I know what I'm about to say is gonna sound shady, but here's the truth. I mean, I feel like that can make it more genuine, like no shade. Like no shade, princess? You're not that special. Oh, oh. Yeah. No, because I always call you so yeah. you get mad. Yeah. No. <laughs> so Watch therefore, your Watch your mouth. So now she wants to be special. Watch Make up your mind, princess. Make up your mind. And that has been today's episode. Uh, today's oh. lesson in uh, gay lingo. No Next shade. week we'll cover another gay term. We like to educate the children. Power bottle. <laughs> Ebony. That of princess. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, nowhere near that. Princess. Okay, is there anything else that we want to discuss before we get out of here? No, because I'm about to jack everybody up. Uh, have you guys thought about what your favorite episode is out of the 50 that we've had? Oh, yeah. She said Sasha. Okay. I say when we came back from the very, very long break and we had our first, like... Reunited and it feels so good. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Or yeah. the first... Uh, I can't even say demonetized because we're not monetized, but the first one that they let us know from the jump, oh, no, we're not accepting this. And, oh, it was restricted, age-restricted. It's called, where you hoes been? Yeah. <laughs> that was a good episode. Um, yeah. Honestly, for me, my favorite episode would have to be one of our very, 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 very first episodes. And that episode would be Crash the wedding. Ha ha ha! And that is because say yes to the chaos. Look, oh my gosh, I forgot that. Cheers happened. to 50 more yeah. episodes! <laughs> is right. there anything that you guys want to say to the people as we wrap up and I'm get out of here? I'm just ready to say the thing. It's late. I'm tired. I got to be up early as fuck tomorrow. Same, Ebony. Same. All right. All well, right. remember to lead with love. And that one blunt a day keeps the bullshit away. And Clean remember, Princess is special. And don't forget, life is 15% what happens to you, 85% how you handle it. Period. That's right. All right. Dot com. We love you. Bye. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Or wait, can we take a break next week? Yeah. I think we deserve a break. I think can so we take too. a break? Yes, we're taking a break. We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you in two weeks. We see love you, you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.